look at the um, Anchor Soundcore portable Bluetooth speaker. Uh, speaker's been around for a few years now. Um, I've owned it for about six months and I uh, just love this thing. Um, it has got a nice heavy feel to it. It's got a rubberized coating so it won't scratch up. The front is kind of a plastic over top of the grill. It's not waterproof so don't be leaving it out in the rain. Um, it comes with a, uh, a little charge cord here. It's about uh, 20 inches long. It's micro USB. Okay, so when you want to charge this thing up, <coughs> it takes about five hours to charge it. You just plug it into the micro USB, the little red light will come on and it will go off when it's fully charged. Uh, when it's fully charged, they're boasting a 24 hour playing time at 80% volume. That is unbelievable. That is, um, you know, that's probably three, 400 songs. Uh, I've never run it that far. Um, you know, when I'm done using it for a weekend, I just throw it back on the charger. Uh, it usually lasts me a weekend easily. Um, anyways, uh, let's just do a, a test. Uh, first test I'm going to do is. Uh, I'm going to use 3.5 millimeter cable. Uh, I've got two of these speakers, so I just use a little Y connector, 3.5 millimeter Y connector. Plug that into the laptop here. Should have your speakers off when you plug this in, just because you'll get the uh, power from the laptop going into the speaker. Okay power them back on. Now if I already had this paired via Bluetooth it would want to default to the Bluetooth Bluetooth because it's searching that's what the flashing blue light is it's searching for Bluetooth right now so I've, I've turned off my Bluetooth on the device I have it paired to okay so I'll just put on a audio track here. The reason I do this is you know sometimes I want to uh, I want to play some music I don't want it blaring for one side of the room and then, you know, quiet on the other side of the room, especially if you're having low volume music, some people sitting around just chatting. Okay, so this way you can individually control each speaker. Turn one down, turn the other one up. Okay, so I can, I can individually adjust with the controls on the top. I can turn this one right down, so now I'm hearing the speaker in the back here. <clears throat> okay, and you can just turn the speaker off too if somebody's sitting at a table on the other end of the room. They're annoyed by the music, they can just power their speaker off. So that's a great little feature, I like that feature. Okay, so we'll just go uh, over the Bluetooth now. Okay, again, when you're connecting and disconnecting uh, 3.5 cables to a powered speaker, powered laptop, you should power them off or you're going to get a, a little static jolt you can damage your, or power jolt you can damage your speakers. Okay, so I'm just going to turn my Bluetooth on on my laptop here. Okay, so... Whether I have that plugged in or not, it's going to go to the Bluetooth device, but uh, just for argument's sake, we'll just unplug that. Okay, flashing blue night. It's searching. <clears throat> I'm not sure which of these two speakers it's connected to here, so just... Bear with me a moment. Okay, so yes, it's this one. So now you got the blue solid light. It's now connected to this speaker. And uh, you're supposed to have, uh, they claim a 66 foot range. Um, yeah, I could agree with that. You might even get uh, more. Um, all depends where you are. Uh, if you're in a house and you're going around corners, you're going to lose your, 
your Bluetooth or you could lose it a little bit anyway. So the, the connection with Bluetooth has been really, really, really good with this speaker. I, when, I'm, when I have my device close by and within eyesight of the speaker, I've never had it. I've never lost a signal. It just, it just works. I mean, I can move the thing around. It doesn't seem to get blocked. Another interesting feature is if you have it paired to your, uh, let's say you have it paired to your cell phone. And there's a setting on your cell phone to um, default to a certain audio device. Uh, you can change your sound settings so that um, when there's a phone call, it will run through your speaker. And the speaker has a microphone in it. There's a little device right here, the top hole is your microphone. And uh, I believe that's correct. Oh, it might be the bottom hole. Anyways, uh, my eyesight's not that great. Um, so you can use your volume. Um, I found myself, I was listening to music and the phone rang and all of a sudden my call was going through the speaker and I had people over. <laughs> so that was kind of annoying, but I, I was really happy when I found out that on my device, I have an Android device, I believe you can do the same thing with an, with an Apple device. Uh, you can change in the settings so that it will default to your phone when a phone call is is uh, coming in. Um, if you're in an office environment, you might want to have that speaker. This will sound a lot better than your phone speaker. And, you know, it'll be very, very clear. So, you know, you have that option there, which is really nice. Um, it also has voice commands. I was able to um, launch my music player with voice command when I had this powered on and paired to my Bluetooth uh, on my cell phone. So that's another great uh, feature. Um, I don't think there was anything else. Uh, it does come in three colors, red, black, and blue. So you have lots of options there. Uh, five hours charge time. Uh, anyways, uh, I really like the speaker. I mean, they have some new ones out and yeah, they might be better. And if they are, fantastic. Um, they don't offer the different colors at this time. Um, I like the red, they kind of stick out. I won't leave my speaker behind if I'm using it out camping. I'll notice it all the time. And uh, anyways, that's my, uh, that's my impressions on this thing. I'd give this thing uh, easily five stars. Um, it's not gonna fill a huge room, but that's not why I bought it. I have a house stereo to do that. So uh, thanks for watching my review.